Today is prompt number 15? Yeah. So there's four today. Awesome. Haven't done four in a while. First one, a mosquito. Oh, great. I love mosquitoes. Next, a fruit cocktail. All right. A peg leg and a spigot. All right, things are going to get weird. I'm going to zoom in. We'll just get started sketching. What's up, Prompt 15 voiceover mode? Ain't shenanigans, you're a narrator of all of these wonderful prompt videos. So yeah, four prompts, haven't done that one in quite a while, and I really had a hard time trying to figure out what to do with this one. Of course, when I saw Peg Leg, I was thinking about pirates, and thought that was just a little too obvious for Peg Leg, and I didn't want to go that way. And also, once I saw a Mosquito, I just... I tried to draw what I thought one looked like, and oh, I hated it. So then I tried to make it a little rounder and cuter, and... I just don't think there's much of a way to make a mosquito look cute. It, It's definitely a struggle. I tried to make them round and adorable, and just... I hated it. But yeah, a spigot seemed pretty simple. With fruit cocktail, I could have a fruit cocktail sort of fruit punch thing coming out of a spigot. Yeah, that that part seemed simple enough, and I was happy with it. And then I thought, yeah, a peg leg, you could definitely put a drink in that. I assume you could have a hollow peg leg, or if you don't, you could hollow one out. And well, because mosquito was the other prompt I had to include in this, I figured maybe I could have a mosquito group around this peg leg that was drinking a fruit cocktail. Yeah, I don't know any uh, realistic situation in which this would happen, but that seemed to be the way to get all of these four prompts together. And I just wanted to try out a couple different perspectives of what I thought this might look like and tried to play around with some foreshortening, but it just, it wasn't my favorite. Yeah, um, four prompts is kind of a struggle to put in together, especially when you have to draw creepy bug things that just, honestly, I felt really itchy the whole time thinking about this prompt. I feel itchy now, currently. Ugh. So, yeah, um, that third prompt, or third sort of, third? That was weird. That third sort of sketch that I did was pretty much what I ended up going with, and yep, definitely sketched this off camera, just as always. I should probably stop doing that. I should probably record my sketching. Maybe in the next prompt I'll do that. Who knows? But yeah, uh, while I was working on this, I was thinking about where I currently live, and well, I don't know what it is about the season or the climate here or what, but we still have these gigantic mosquitoes hanging out, and the building I live in, there's sort of this like overhang ledge thing where our mailboxes are, and it's, it's sort of like a mini porch, so it just barely has an overhang so like rain doesn't get in and there are gigantic mosquitoes that like to just hang out there so anytime I'm entering or exiting my building I just sort of run as quickly as possible because I'm afraid that they're going to come after me and yeah uh, getting the mail is also done as quickly as possible or I make my husband do it because I'm scared of bugs which I think is fair I think that's a fair thing to be worried about since these things they drink blood they're basically little vampires I don't honestly know what purpose mosquitoes serve other than being a food source for other animals like bats. And, you know, bats aren't the most attractive things, but at least they help get rid of mosquitoes. And I'm sure bats also do other things like help with replanting seeds or something. I don't know. I feel like I learned about that in a science class, but now I can't remember. <laughs> Ooh, let's go back to talking about the arts since that's something I know about. So, I'm just using my Ohuu markers as the 120 set. I'm really enjoying these. They're super juicy markers, which, if you hear the word juicy markers and it kind of makes you creep out, well, art channels might not be your favorite thing to watch. Just, I'm just putting that out there. But I really like these markers. I think they work really well. I'm still sort of learning how to use alcohol markers, but, you know, I'm, I'm trying. I'm learning. And... I like that these have a small sort of bullet. I guess I want to call it like a bullet nib side because I can get small details a bit easier, especially since these have chisel nibs and, well, it's just a little bit harder to get 
inside all of the lines or stay inside all of the lines with the chisel nib. So that is one thing that I do like about Ohu'u coming out with brush markers is that the brush nibs just work really well. You can get in a lot more areas, cover a lot more space, and the blending is a little bit easier. Definitely didn't just bump my ruler in my studio. So if you heard that noise in the background, that's what that was. <laughs> and yeah, when trying to figure out the colors for this, I wanted to keep it a very warm toned sort of picture. And I, whenever I was looking up mosquitoes as reference, which I hated doing and never want to do that again, they all sort of seemed kind of brown-ish. So I started coloring them this beige shade and I don't know, I wasn't the biggest fan of it. I just, I felt like it looked a little too weird and I just wanted them to be a little darker. So I ended up changing that later, but yeah, I just, there's just no way to make mosquitoes cute. I'm sorry, there's just not. But at least the spigot part look, turned out pretty well. I know it just sort of hovers in the void in the background, but I like to put things in endless white voids. I mean, can't stop me can't tell me that these things have to live somewhere that isn't a white void. It's my imagination. They can live in a white void if they want to. I don't know why I got so feisty about that, but <laughs> yep, that's just sort of what I do. So for the fruit cocktail part, I just really wanted to draw an orange and a strawberry. So this is an orange and strawberry fruit cocktail. And my thought, because, well, I don't really like to drink alcohol. It's just not my favorite thing. If I'm going to drink something that's going to make me sick, I'd rather have a milkshake, to be completely honest. Or, like, way too much, like, grape juice. I really like grape juice. Like, wine's whatever. Grape juice is fantastic. Sparkling grape juice, oh, it's the best. And little juice boxes, like, that's adorable. And I mean, I guess the adult version of that is boxed wine, but I don't... I'm, I'm just... I don't like to drink. So when I was thinking about fruit, fruit cocktail, I honestly was thinking about fruit punch. So that's what I went with. This is a strawberry and orange fruit punch sort of cocktail thing that's in a peg leg coming out of a spigot that mosquitoes are drinking. Which, I mean, I guess it's better they're drinking this than blood? Yeah, that's what's happening with these mosquitoes. They don't, they don't drink blood, they drink fruit cocktails. Because they figured they just wanted something that was the color red. And that's, they can find some sort of contentness in drinking fruit cocktails. Why not? <laughs> I also tried to make it look like the drink was sort of going up their like mouth things, their little like, I don't know, what is it? The like needle mouth thing. Um, and it just sort of looked like blood. And then I realized this red just kind of looks like blood. It's definitely supposed to be a fruit cocktail. I swear, that's what I thought of it as, like fruit punch. And then after I looked at it for a while, it just totally looks like blood. But I swear that's not what I was going for. That was not my intention. This is definitely fruit punch. And yeah, I will say one thing about mosquitoes that is kind of nice is they care about the environment. First, they're using a wooden peg leg. It's reusable. It's sustainable. It's biodegradable. They're having fruit, which also biodegradable, like any of the things they don't eat. It's just going to decompose. And they don't need to use plastic straws because they already have one attached to their faces. So yeah, these are some sustainable mosquitoes. Or at least that's what I'm telling myself, so I hate them a little bit less. Ugh, really don't like bugs. But yeah, that's pretty much it for prompt number 15. I will do my best to try and get an extra video out this week since I missed one last week. My bad, I was getting ready for a convention, like craft show thing. So yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this prompt. I will see you in the next one. Have an awesome day, guys. Bye! Do you want to see more shenanigans? Then make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. Oh, you want to see more shenanigans, like, right now? Then check out these suggestions on your screen or head on over to my Instagram. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Check back soon for some more shenanigans. Bye!